Let me guess, you love volleyball. You just can't get enough. You play with your friends day and night whenever you can, but you want to get better. Question is, how do you and your teammates do it? Answer is, by playing to each other's strengths. And that means learning the 5-1 rotation. It's the most complicated rotation in volleyball. But with five hitters and one amazing setter and a little bit of teamwork, you will be on your way to some great games. Here's how you do it. When the setter is back row, the game is played just like you would a 6-2. So if the setter is coming in from right back, she's going to come in behind the right front player on serve receive. She's leaving a hole behind her in the back court, so the other back row players are going to slide over and fill in that gap, and the left front player is going to pull back to help pass. Now you can see that the setter is in the middle back in rotation. On serve receive, she'll come in behind the other right side player and leave a hole. So again. The player in the back row is going to slide over to fill in that gap and the player in the left front is going to slide back to help pass, giving you once again a nice three-man passing in the back court. The setter will run in on serve receive up to the net to set one of her, of her available three hitters. Now the setter is in the left back. She's going to come in behind the left front player leaving behind her a hole in the back court. The players in the back row are going to slide over to fill in the gap, and now the right front player is going to come back to help pass. She's going to run in on serve receive, and set one of her three available front row hitters. Now our setter has rotated to the left front. This is very similar to a 4-2. She's going to come up to the net. The other players are going to pull back to pass. And we already have our three man passing in the back court. Now she can either begin here at the left front and run into set after the serve, or she can pull this middle blocker up next to her, as long as they don't overlap each other. The middle blocker can pull up to the net and sort of hide out of the passing rotation. And um, this outside hitter can then come over here in order to be able to hit outside first. There are different ways that you can um, arrange this so that your hitters are where you want them to be. But the standard look of it is this right here with these two helping to pass the short ball and these three here forming that three man back row passing and the setter would just run in along the net not taking her eye off the ball and um, not turning her back to the court as she runs okay now the setter has rotated to the middle front in middle front she would just turn here over to her setting spot and the other players would back up to pass at the 10-foot line and the back row players go ahead and form their three-man pass. Now the setter is where she wants to be and we've also finished the rotation. Keep in mind that even though in this particular case she's left front, she's going to run into the right front turn and face her players to receive the pass. After she sets her players and her team hits the ball over the net, she's going to switch to the right and become a blocker. The other players are going to switch to their positions too and play out the rally there. Every time the ball comes back over the net, she's simply going to turn and receive it, receive the pass and set one of her players. So she can set these two hitters, dump the ball or hit the ball herself, or set a back row player. Case, you're gonna come in after the serve, 
Face your players and receive the pass. Set one of your hitters and they'll send it over the net. At that point, your whole team is going to quickly switch to their positions that they, whoops, that they specialize in and you're going to turn and be ready to block. You'll play out the entire rally in this right front position and you'll set every ball from the right front when you're front row. When you're back row, let's just switch these guys really quickly. You're going to do all of your defense here in the right back. When the ball comes over the net as a free ball, that means that the other team is bumping it. You're going to take off for the net to set one of your three available hitters. And the middle back's responsibility is to cover that hole if you take off. If it's a down ball, which means they're either standing and hitting the ball over like a spike, or they're jumping and hitting, you stay home. You don't leave your spot. You stay there and you dig. If the hit does not come to you and you're sure of it and it's heading towards someone else, as soon as you know it's heading towards another player, take off for the net, ready to receive their dig. If the pass, um, if the free ball or the down ball or the spike comes to you, you're going to go ahead and dig or pass that ball to your opposite. She's going to go ahead then and set that ball for you.